to pray. Our Heavenly Father, this morning we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you because you are the Almighty God. We thank you for it pleased you this morning to spare our lives to see today. We glorify your holy name because of who you are. Father Lord, we thank you because you are the unchangeable God, the unchangeable changer, the God with whom nothing is impossible. Father Lord, you have brought us to bless us this morning. We pray that in the name of Jesus, the word that you have given us, it will minister grace to us. Amen. Heavenly Father, open our ears to hear. Amen. And Father Lord, cultivate our heart that the seed of the word of God might fall into the fighter part of our hearts. Amen. Heavenly Father, today, oh God, I pray that as you speak your word to us, it will not stand against us. Amen. It will not work against us. Amen. Father Lord, your word will be a blessing to us. Amen. Your word will heal us. Amen. Your word will deliver us. Amen. Your word will open impossible doors Amen. unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your word will rebuke us. Amen. Your word will correct us. Amen. Your word will instruct us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, the blessings that you have for us today, I pray that it will not elude us in Jesus' name. At the end of today's service, we will we'll be glad that we came into your presence. You will bless us with the blessings of heaven. And Father Lord, all the praises, the worship, the adoration we trust, they will be yours in the name of Jesus. Give us testimonies. Glorify your name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This morning, by the special grace of God, I want to talk to you on what I titled Keeping Your Dream Alive. Setting Your Dreams on Fire. Now, there are various definitions of dreams. You know, as I was looking at the encyclopedia and the dictionary, you know, there were various definitions, but I, I, I just picked one out of those various definitions. It's like you slept, you dreamt, you know. But this particular one interested me and I felt it would be a blessing to us. You see, the dream can be defined as an ambition or a cherished desire. An ambition or a cherished desire. To every one of us that is born of God has a dream. God has given us a dream. God's own dream. Now the Bible even says that He will grant the desire of our heart. And that is why we often pray that our own desire should align with the desires of God in our hearts. Amen. Because if God grants our own personal desire, which is against what God has for us, it will not all go well. Now we need to align our own desire so that it will fall in place with the plans and the purpose God has for us. Remember God has said that he has good plans for us. His desire concerning our lives is that we should prosper and we should increase. And all his plans concerning us, they are plans of good. They are not of evil. That is his plans for us. And for those plans to actualize, we must key in into those plans. Now this morning, we have, we, from the passage we have read, it talks about the dream and the desire of a particular man. God gave him a dream by the name Joseph. He had a dream. The Bible says he slept one night and God revealed himself to him. And he told him that he was going to be great that his life was going to be better off. 
and that things are going to work well for him. Now, he felt that it would be important or uh, it would be good for him to share his desire, his dream, his visions, his revelation with his brothers and his family. And that is what so many of us have done. When we have good plans, we share it with our family members, we share it with our friends, we share it with those we think or we care should rejoice with you because those plans are good. Now, in the realm of desire or that realm of dream, it is only a wish. It has not materialized. Now, you need to guide that dream and that vision jealously until it materializes. Now, when you have a dream, when you have a vision in your heart, you are the one who knows what God is speaking to you, what God is saying to you, where God says he's taking you to. Your people who do not understand your dreams and your vision, they will not be able to understand. They will try everything to either discourage you or frustrate that dream from materializing. And so we saw in the life of Joseph. Bible says that as soon as he shared that dream with his brother, they tried everything to discourage him. And probably they were also children, children of the covenant. And probably they perceived that that dream, that vision is going to come to pass. And they tried as much as possible to frustrate the plans and the purpose that was embedded in that vision. Now you know the story very well. Bible says that Joseph, as at that particular time, was the last of the children of Jacob. Now remember that Joseph was a destiny child because the mother was meant to be the legitimate first wife of the husband, of the father of Joseph, Jacob. Now remember that when Joseph or Jacob ran away from the brother, he was seeking for a better life until he went to a particular place that he became his servant to a man that had several uh, girls in his house. And he fell in love with the mother of Joseph. And as the tradition of that place was, the younger was not supposed to get married before the older one. They did not tell him. He did not know. Now he went ahead, he proposed to the younger one, whose name was Rachel. And Bible says that at that particular day that he was to get married, they deceived him and gave him the elder sister of Rachel. Now Joseph was to serve another seven years before he could marry the desire of his heart. Now eventually to cut the long story short, after serving for another seven years, he eventually married the mother of Joseph. Now after they got married, remember that Rachel had delay. She did not conceive on time. She waited. And it got to a point that Rachel had to go to the husband and heard the husband and said, you must give me a tie today. And Jacob told Rachel, am I the one that gives children? And to cut the long story short, the Lord responded to Rachel, and Bible says, the child Joseph came to be. And when that child came to be, that child was a special child. And Bible says that the father loved him so much and made him a coat of many colors. And in spite of the fact that God made him a coat of many colors, he did not feel that he is a special child and be a spoiled child. The Bible says, each time the brothers will go out, 
to go and graze the cattle and the sheep because that was what was used to measure their weight those days. Now Joseph was the one that was sent by the father to go and look for, uh, for the brothers and see how well they are faring wherever they were. And it happened after the Joseph dreamt a dream that one of the occasions that the father sent him